I have one today that's slightly different than what I've been showing you. Um, what we have is an initial condition, um, a constant that's an irrational number. And we want to show that an expression that depends on that constant is strictly less than one half. Okay. Now, so certainly, you know, trying to do decimals or calculators here would be very, you know, clumsy. Uh, you, you could get a decimal and try to, but you'd probably get rounding errors. And this anyway is, is a pretty sharp inequality, I think. So we need to come up with a non-calculator based way to, to handle this. Now notice we have powers of, uh, even powers for our exponents right here. So it'd be probably useful to re-express this in terms of A squared. So let's get started with that and see if that proves fruitful. Now, y'all, just to, in the name of saving a little bit of space here, I'm gonna do a, some of this. Uh, this statement right here, if you multiply by three and subtract one, you could get an equivalent statement. That would be uh, 3a, uh, 3a minus one, k okay, is equal to root seven, All right? Again, folks, two steps on that. I multiplied both sides of this equality by three, then I subtracted one. Now we're in a position to square both sides, and that'll give us the, the squared term that, that might come in handy when we're trying to evaluate or, or, or show this uh, strict inequality. So if we square both sides using pretty well-known results from algebra, if you square the left-hand side, you end up with 9a squared Okay, and I am using an algebraic identity, the A minus B quantity squared algebraic identity. So one's gonna go against 3A twice, so that's gonna give us minus 6A. Okay, and then when you square negative one, you get one. Now, uh, again, the point of doing this was getting an A squared to happen. And also we'll, when you square the square root of seven, you just get seven. Okay, now uh, from there, if you uh, add, subtract one from both sides and add 6a, uh, you will get uh, 9a squared. You'll get 9a squared uh, is equal, y'all, that is a nine, believe it or not. Uh, that is equal to 6a plus six. And it's a 6a plus 6. Again, folks, what did I do right there? Uh, I subtracted 1 from 7 to get 6. I added this 6a to both sides. So this reads 9a squared is equal to 6a plus 6. But notice that if you divide by 9, this just becomes 2 thirds. And so you would end up with uh, a squared. Okay, you would end up with a squared that would be equal to two thirds, okay, times a plus one. Okay, you know, you may wanna double check, make sure I didn't make any mistakes, but I think I got it right. That is a nine and a boarded looking nine. Six divided by nine is two thirds, factor it out. You're left with a squared is equal to this expression right here. Now that that's that's uh, kind of uh, handy right here because another way to re-express this that might come in very handy if you're just taking a look up here, you're not, you're, you know you're uh, keeping your eye on the trophy right here. You can write this part right here as I'm trying to save some space here, folks. You can rewrite this part right here as um, this is equivalent. Let me just write it. Okay, this is equivalent to, and again, these kind of problems, you're, you're allowed to cheat in the sense that you can look towards the expression you're trying to evaluate and then do the requisite manipulations. So you see right here, you'll get, this is equivalent to uh, this quotient. And since we're dealing with quotients, that's gonna be handy. So you have A squared uh, <clears throat> over, 
a plus one. equals to two thirds, right? Yeah, I'm, t I'm being very deliberate here, just making sure I'm not making mistakes. But that's uh, two thirds. So you have a squared plus, uh, you have this quotient that looks a lot like um, what we're doing here, right? Or it's this object right here, if you cube it, if, I mean, if you cube this, you actually get this object right here, right, folks, by laws of exponents. So again, if you cube this, if you cube this, you get this, this term right here, but you're also having to cube two thirds. So right underneath here, folks, I'll write two thirds cubed. Y'all, again, I, I kind of got myself painted the corner in terms of space right here. But anyway, that is two thirds cubed. If you cube this object right here, and wait, I, let's see, I have enough space here. If you cube this, uh, uh, this left-hand side, you do get a to the sixth, right? over a plus one quantity cube, right? Rather than say it, I'll just write it down. Okay. But if you cube the left-hand side, you have to cube the right-hand side. And that's exactly what we get right here with two thirds quantity cubed. And in a similar fashion, folks, this, is, this would be plus two thirds. Quantity to the fourth, right? Okay. Now, so what do we got right here? This is uh, two thirds cubed is the same as eight over 27. So we have eight over 27. Okay. Plus, what is this? What do we have right here, folks? Um, two to the fourth is 16, three to the fourth is 81. So you get 16 over 81 right here. Okay, folks, so what we have right here is eight over 27. Uh, 8 over 27 plus 16 over 81. So common denominator would give us that this is equal to 3 times 27 is 81, 3 times 8 is 24. So what we get here is 24 uh, plus 16. all over 81. So that was pretty close, wasn't it, folks? You see, that's, that would be equal to uh, 40 over 81. And 40 over 81 is just a hair less than one half, right? Maybe a very thin hair, right? 40 over 81 is strictly less than one over two, isn't it? Yeah, so there it is. Uh, we have proven the result. Now, what I'm interested in, in a way, this is kind of a little deceptive because there's probably a way to do this where you just strictly do inequality compares and, and stuff and get it to happen. You're not always lucky enough to be able to evaluate something and actually just do a direct compare and say, hey, this is less than what, what you're looking for. But we have proved it by directly evaluating this expression on the left-hand side. And I would be interested uh, in uh, approaches where, where you just did, you know, formal uh, manipulations of inequalities. Okay, hope you enjoy.